New tonight, three teenagers are set to face a judge tomorrow on charges they sexually assaulted a 15-year-old girl. Police found out about the attack after the boys started bragging about it at school. 7 Action News reporter Jeff Vaughn is live in Clawson tonight. And Jeff, what did you manage to find out? Well, Carolyn, that bragging was taking place here at Clawson High School. Police tell me one of the suspects captured that attack on cell phone video. Then, Carolyn, they began to share to students inside the school. The assault happening here in the 300 block of Kinross, near 14 Mile and Crooks, not far from Clawson High School. Officers tell Action News a 15 year old girl came here with three male students ages 17 and 18 after school on October 9th, 2013. Police in a statement say the four engaged in many sexual acts, including intercourse, and one of the young men captured it on cell phone video. Less than a week later, the video was being shown inside Clawson High, where students that viewed the video reported it to the principal's office. Moments later, police arrived and arrested the three, but say one of the young men deleted the video. But the incriminating evidence was retrieved by Oakland County Sheriff's Department detectives. 17-year-old Travion Watkins of Pontiac, 17-year-old Kimoni Slayton of Clawson, and 18-year-old Terry Watts of Pontiac each appeared before a judge charged with criminal sexual conduct in the third degree, a 15-year felony. The number you have reached has been disconnected or is no longer in service. I tried to reach the family members of the suspects for comment tonight, but each number we called was disconnected. Well, police tell me those three suspects have all confessed to the crime. Watkins and Slayton are being held on $50,000 bond, and Watts is being held on $75,000 bond. Live in Clawson, Jeff Vaughn, 7 Action News. Jeff, did anyone tell you how the little 15-year-old girl is doing tonight? I'm sure her identity is still sealed, but any idea? Uh, we have no idea on how she's doing emotionally after this. We know that she is uh, continuing classes here at uh, Clawson High School. And, Carolyn, since you mentioned that, we should mention that those uh, suspects are not allowed any contact with the victim. They are not allowed to come back to the school. And if and when they do bond out, they will be required to wear GPS tethers.